Hi all. I'm gonna put a a new bulb in one of my claw headlights here. Uh, I checked them all when I put the plow on last month and everything worked then. But I noticed this one here last night wasn't working. And then uh, I fiddled around with the plug down here and uh, the regular headlight came on but the bright one didn't. So these are probably the original bulbs. Those probably go back back to 2004. I'm guessing but I figure they've probably never been changed. So here let's check them out see what's happening. Maybe it started working now that it, it's drying out a little bit. Okay, so the regular headlights come on, the blinkers come on, the park lights come on, the two yellow lights on the claw come on. I can't really tell if the brights came on, but it, it looks like they're brights. I'll have to see it in the video. But it looks like they came on. Okay, so there's the plow lights. You see the one over here is working now. That's why I'm kind of thinking it's the, the plug down there it just got wet. So, so let's see here. Those are called the uh, light saber. I, I think they're they're mainly on the Meyer plows. I'm not really sure on that. And those are the twos. I think number threes just came out. So let's see here. Got this one, left one, got right one. And then we got one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So yellow is okay. Yellow is okay, or amber, I guess they call that amber. Yellow or amber. And then, let's see, oh, that might still be on the bright one. Okay, see how I put that down on the regular lights. You know, when I when I put the regular truck lights on brights, it works these up here too at the same time. So whoever wired this up really knew what they were doing. So the regular truck lights, the turn signal thing, when you flick it to low beams and high beams works the Meyer lights too.
Okay, so the regular lights on the plow work. So this is the regular beam. Okay, we'll call it low beam. Low beam. Low beam. Okay. We'll say okay. Okay. So this one here is the high beams. High beam. This is the one I think that's not working. beam on this side works okay but the high beam on this side is out okay so let's fiddle with the plug first and see what happens so I think I think both of them were out on this side here. So I think both of them were out on this side. And then all I did with that plug, I just pulled it apart and plugged it back in. And then the regular, the low beams worked up here. So that's why I'm thinking it's the plug. So uh, what I'm going to do is clean out the plug. I think I got this at AutoZone or, yeah. But uh, you can get it at Walmart too. I saw it in the auto department. The brand name is CRC. And it's just an electronic cleaner. So it sprays on a liquid, but it dries. Okay. I used to use this on all type of uh, electronic stuff when I was doing the music thing. You know, you, if you have like a small radio and the... Uh, you know, you turn the volume knob and stuff like that, and it sounds scratchy. You can spray it in there too. You know, I've I've soaked old radios and uh, got rid of the scratchy stuff. And it dries. So, uh, there's two types of this. One leaves a film and one doesn't. It's, it's like a the one that leaves a film. It's it's like an oily film. So see how this one says leaves no residue. So, you know, I would just go to the electronic store and uh, tell them what you want it for. But I suppose this one, see, see it says right here, car plugs. So I see right here it says car plugs, so I guess we're safe. Okay, then after you clean it, you put on this grease. And uh, this is a made by the same company, CRC and it's a grease for electronics so the electronics will, will still work it's called a dielectric grease let's see here it says die die electric grease and it looks like a normal white grease it looks just like a Vaseline type thing okay so die electric grease it also comes in like small packages you know like small little packages like a sugar packet for like a one-time use but if you have a plow or something like that just buy a big can oh here it says water proofs electrical contacts that big plug on the plow you're supposed to do that once a month that big plug on the plow down here you're supposed to clean that off once a month I don't know if I do it once a month, but I, I do it quite often. So, let me go clean out that plug and we'll see if that light comes on.
high electric grease on it before it starts snowing. So it's all greasy. One of the contacts does look a little brown, so it might be getting rusty. Uh, you can go online, find diagrams, and uh, it'll tell you exactly what each contact is for. That middle plug there, there might not even be anything there. It might just be a placeholder. I, I, I can't really tell. They just put the extra plugs in, or the extra contacts, for future use, future expansion. So that's why they're there sometimes. That's the way it was with the music equipment. Not all the contacts were always used. That one did seem to clean up pretty good. go together one way. It's got this little thing. Okay, so the bulb didn't come on. I'm just going to presume the bulb is bad. And uh, I'll go buy another bulb board. Well, I suppose I could take that one out and bring it So we're going to take out the middle bulb and move it over to the other side and see if, see if the plug works. So on the back of these there's three screws, three Phillips heads. When you take the screws out, just throw them on the ground. They're going to end up down there anyways.